Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and I can't believe it. We have a brand new shop, a brand new souvenir shop and it's over at Two Town. So I feel like we're getting a little mini preview of what is to come when Two Town officially opens. But yes, we're gonna go over there. We're gonna take a look at all the newest merch. And then other than that, I mean, a Disney day is never complete without food. So we're definitely gonna get some tasty treats. I know they already have St. Patrick's Day food out and California Adventure kind of has some things that are like on my mind. I mean, California Adventure has the best food. But anyway, come along with me, let's hang out, and yeah, let's just have a nice little Disney day. I already feel like today is gonna be a lucky day because we have been blessed by the Disney weather gods. It was raining on the way over here, but then the clouds parted and well, okay, they're back. I mean, it's a very cloudy sky, but it's not raining right now. So we are feeling blessed. Let's just cross our fingers that it stays that way because um, I'm not prepared for the rain today. I never am. <laughs> Wait, it's Mickey. He just came out. Should we get in line? I mean, I'm already being a weirdo and following him. Why not? This is so lucky. Look who it is. It's Mickey. Mickey Mouse, you're looking so good today. So very dapper. Look at the silver shoes. We love it. But, you know, I met Donald the other day and he said that he was number one, but I kind of feel like you're number one. Who's, what's the truth? Is it you? Is it Donald? Is it both of you? Can you tie for, you're, oh. I think you're too kind. He's too kind all the time. Mickey, that's why we love you. You are the king. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Is it okay if we get a picture together? Okay. <laughs> was immensely adorable and uplifting and I just love when you walk into Disneyland and you see characters immediately it just makes you happy but specifically when you see them walking out and you're like wait I get to be like the first person in line okay that's so awesome so yes today is a very lucky day but also I already looked at the photos so like they came up really really fast sometimes I take the most awkward photos like I feel like unprepared I feel shocked when they're like are you ready and I'm like oh and yes Sometimes being an adult at Disneyland is awkward, right? Anyway, let's go to, let's go to Toontown. Maybe I'll get coffee. Also, can I just, I have to mourn the loss of something really quick. RIP to this window display. I am so sad. So this used to be full of new emos and they had the cutest displays like them in little scenes in the teacup ride. And now, yes, it's Disney 100. It's beautiful, it's holographic. We love it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But new emos, RIP. Oh my god, it's a giant bubble. Oh my gosh, that is sad. Okay, uh, big bubble no longer. I never noticed this, although honestly it might be new, but this statue of Minnie, she's in a bed of flowers and the flowers are in the shape of a heart. I think that is so precious and so perfect for Minnie. I love that. I went inside a market house, which is the Starbucks here at Disneyland, and I was looking at the new spring drinks. At least I think they're the new spring drinks. I'm not really a Starbucks girly, you know what I mean? So yeah, I ended up not getting any of them. They just like didn't appeal to me. So we'll get Starbucks or we'll get coffee somewhere else. And now we are gonna go on what was the main mission of today, which is to look at the merch over at the new merch shop. So to Toontown we go. <laughs> It's a tiny door. We love tiny doors. It's not quite new emo size. New emo size would need to be like this tall, but it's teddy bear sized. Hidden Minnie, look at that. Ooh, and also Donald, but she's being held up by Mickey. Can you see? We're gonna be able to see all of Toontown Town next week, and I would be lying if I said I wasn't the most excited for the food. Actually, no, I take it back. I'm really excited to meet Mickey back at his house. It's gonna be so nice, and actually everything else. Everything else is gonna be really good. Ooh, in fact, let me show you. There's like lanterns, you can see things. There's little paper lanterns on the tree. Isn't that so cute? And then I was looking over here because yes, I mean, Toontown is gonna be here next week, so everything is almost ready. But you can see a little beehive with some honey dripping down, and it totally reminds me of Winnie the Pooh, and I just love that. But yes, we'll be able to see all of this very soon, and I'm so excited because the landscape, like all of this looks so fantastic, don't you think? So it's gonna look so good once, well, when the fence is gone. 
We have arrived and we are at Engineer Souvenirs. I mean, give it to Disney for a good pun. They always come up with cute stuff. And look at this front window of the shop. So it says miniature railroads, full scale fun. I think that is precious. And I'm pretty sure the stuff inside is gonna be precious. This is all railroad themed and adorable. Everything inside of the shop just looks so bright, fresh, glossy, new. Well, not really glossy. The paint is like set and finished, but you know what I mean. And there's a train. There's a train that goes around. Let's find it. Um, oh, wait, it's over there. It was right in front of my face. Hello? Yes, right there. I think that is the cutest Disney detail. This shop is so crowded right now because this is like an exit through the gift shop type of store. So it's not just people shopping, it's also people leaving the ride. But I wanted to point out all the cute details. So along the ground right here, you see that it's like a snap together toy train detail. How cute. How cute is this poster? It's right by the door. It has Donald. He's looking so mad at Chip, but Chip is looking very angelic, you know? He didn't do anything wrong. It says, out of scale, and the engine ear logo is right there. We are gonna start off strong with the ears. I'm so excited. So when Walt Disney World released their Mickey and Minnie's ride, they had a different pair of ears, but now this is a new pair of ears celebrating the Disneyland ride, and it's just so cute. I mean, let me show you all the details, and this is just for $35. It's a gingham bow, and then we have Chubby, Chubby right there, and then the ears themselves. So they're a nice blue satin, but everything is fully embroidered. Look at that, and it's not just the front, it's also on the back, even with metallic thread for the railroad logo. And Goofy, look at how silly he is. They're so fun, so colorful. And then even the headband, it's made out of rattan. Oh no, I never know how to pronounce that word. Uh, yeah, but anyway, these are spectacular. For $30, there's a brand new shirt that's the perfect souvenir if you come here for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway or if you come for the opening of Toontown. I like that it's navy blue, it's not black, it's not white. It's a little bit of color, but it's still a neutral. It's made out of a nice fabric too. And then the print, oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this, the print is thin. We are clapping inside because the print is thin and it's really fun because this is the type of print where you just see new things every single time, but it follows the ride. See, it's like, it just has all the little scenes from the ride, it's so cute. Ooh, and then Chubby, Chubby. I need to remember how to say his name. For $29.99, they have a kid's shirt right here and I just love that it has vintage baseball uniform vibes, don't you think? And the material is nice and especially the print, check this out, it is thin as well. I am obsessed with that and yes, this would be a very comfy tee and just oh so very cute. If you like collecting these sketchbook ornaments, we have a brand new one. This is $27 and it's so cute. I like that we have Mickey and Minnie on each of the ears. And then the hat itself looks like a tiny little, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice Goofy. Look at Goofy, we love him. It even has the logo right there and tiny wheels and a puffy smokestack cloud. There is a spectacular sculptural mug here. It's $25. It has Mickey and Minnie printed on one side. And then on the other, it has the ride logo and then it even has little details printed on like right there there's a little bell i think that's a bell honestly i don't know that much about trains but check out that little logo right there too how fun i don't know if this is the most practical mug though right like look inside would you be able to drink well would you be able to mix in some creamer into your coffee i don't know but it's still fun and cute and really it's just a fun little display to have in your house the train is going by. I think that's so fun. But okay, what I was gonna tell you is that everything in the store, so it's not just Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway merch. You can also find just like Mickey Mouse and Friends. And I think it's so cute. And I just saw over there, they have new emos. This shop is already getting enormous bonus points because look at this, they have new emos, although they're not displayed in the typical way, you know, like very organized. And it's kind of adorable. They're just, just, I, I, I don't even have words, it's so adorable. Look at them, look at them all. My favorite new emo is actually Donald, but you have to be very particular about the one that you get because some of them are just not built right. Look at him, I love him. This is a display inside of the store and it is so cute. So look, Doodlebug brand model trains, I love this. And you can get assorted silly trees. I love silly trees specifically. What else? Telephone and power poles, clown car. Extremely relaxing lounge car. Ooh, okay, I think I would like that one. And assorted silly trees, please. Ooh, and then look. 
How cute is this? Should I turn the camera? No, that's gonna make us all feel weird. Maybe I will. Okay, how fun! Something else that is very cool about this shop is that they do personalization. So you see the sewing machines over there? So you can get your ear hats personalized, and if they have like spirit jerseys or sweaters, you can get your initials or your name on your actual spirit jersey. I think that is so cool. Oh, yeah. Here's a display of the actual Doodlebug model trains. Oh my gosh. How cute. Very, very precious. I'm sure there is a lot of lore and just like little Easter eggs that I'm missing, you know? But I will try my best to point things out. I mean, specifically Silly Trees and also Doodlebug. We love him. This is the exit for the ride, isn't that so cool? And then yes, it's very exit through the gift shop vibes. But look at this, so they also have the Mickey and Co collection in stock. Ooh, I haven't seen this mug. Oh, it's not part of the Mickey and Co collection, but I'll still show you. This one is a Minnie Mouse mug, and I like that it has a little bow right there, and it also has bows printed on the inside. So pretty, is there anything on the other side? No? Okay, $23. I pulled this to the side because I know this has been a very hot in-demand item and I've only seen it now like it's been sold out to the point where I've only seen it now it's $59.99 it's a nice khaki color and the material is it's like slick I don't know how to describe it other than slick it's also very lightweight which I do enjoy and it feels almost like it would be waterproof like that's the texture of it and then Mickey right here I touched it already he's a little bit thick but you know what we're gonna forgive it and this is also part of the Mickey and Co collection and you can tell because look at this it has Mickey and Co right there it's actually embroidered I think that's a really fun detail and then these front slip pockets a zipper down the front and I also like details like this like a little button loop I mean not that you would use it but it just adds a little bit more dimension to the piece overall and nothing on the back but in case you're wondering I can only find it in a size extra small so like it's even selling out here like right now look at this poster oh my gosh a doodlebug model trains I am now your biggest fan by the way doodlebug look at this you can even see him right there a tiny little doodlebug not available at fine hobby shops anywhere but Toontown it's tip-top trains for top-notch buffs and look at this Huey Dewey and Louie isn't this so cute I love the vintage vibe of this it just is immaculate still playing with trains then play with ours <laughs> these posters which by the way are right next to the cast member exit and entrance so let's hope that uh, nobody needs to use this right here right now but I just love this look we have Horace horse collar and another doodlebug ad and then there's this one featuring goofy it says complete total grand supreme super ultimate train set I want that one I mean I'm sure it comes with the silly trees right Yes, Doodlebug, I am your biggest fan. They have some magnets here. So this one is for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and it just looks very fun. I think all of these are $20. Hmm, I should have checked that before. Okay, no, $15. We love when the price is lower than originally anticipated. And then this one is like the marquee, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This is more like for um, Walt Disney World. This is the way theirs looks, like the Grumman's Chinese Theater. And then here we have Chubby, Chubby. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Oh no, I'm gonna have that song even just reading it now I'm gonna have the song stuck in my head and then there's phone cases so let's see this one is oh it has 3d effects so it has like two layers of the plastic so you can see there's like a little design underneath and then Mickey and Minnie are in the front you can kind of see right there it's like layered where Pluto's in the back it gives it a 3d effect I was gonna do air quotes but I cannot okay $35 for the phone cases and I think there's another design yes there is oh my gosh sorry I'm like struggling I was just trying to put that up for so long this is the other design. It's chubby, chubby. <laughs> he is looking so fun and so cute. And it's also the same 3D effect, so it's like multi-layered. They have a little table so you can test out this toy. Look at it. Oh my gosh, did we test it out? Let's test it out. Oh yes, it's a very wide turn. So okay. to make it fast turns, you're going to go backwards. And then while you're going back, you're going to hit the side and then go forward very quickly. We're getting a little crowded. Okay. I can't help but look at another display of doodlebug trains and look at this we have flat but funny scenery rather typical flat car club car doodlebug biggest fan um, assorted wonky buildings heck yeah container car hmm broken bridges oh yes please 
Biggest fan, Doodlebug. I am your biggest fan. Love you. How fun was that? I mean, okay, two things. The first thing, um, I'm Doodlebug's biggest fan now. Like, biggest fan? No one is a bigger fan of Doodlebug than I. <laughs> but then, the second thing I was gonna say is that, well, first off, everything in there is so fun, so colorful, so many, like, little details to look at. And the other thing, the very last thing, it's, there's actually three things. <laughs> is that I just love that it connects back to Walt and his love of trains and everything has like a vintage vibe to it. I'm into it. I think it's so fun. You have to check it out if you come here. But then also, I mean, Toontown is going to be opening up next week, which by the way, when this video comes out, it'll probably be like old news. It'll be like, yeah, Toontown's already open. <laughs> but I mean, okay, right next to Cafe Daisy. Yes, Cafe Daisy. And look at this. Where is it? Here it is. It's her mailbox. You can send mail to her, but unfortunately it's, well, it's not working right now. You know, you can't actually send her mail. Say goodbye, Toontown. Or wait, no, I see you real tune. Hehe, <laughs> yes, I can also make puns. so excited because now it is finally the part of the video where I get to eat things and I came over to Red Rose Tavern I ended up getting their St. Patrick's Day specialty and I've had this before and it is spectacular so this is the green stuff it's mint white chocolate mousse chocolate cake mint chocolate chips and chocolate cookie crumbs on a shortbread cookie and if you have never had the green stuff you are so missing out well okay I don't want to like make you feel bad I don't want to like rub it in your face but this is they always do like a seasonal variety of it right so like for Halloween or for the holidays they always like dress it up but it's still the same flavors this time around they switch it up so it's actually mint and I'm so excited so I have a bite that just has the frosting and honestly the frosting if you are a frosting person this is totally the dessert for you because it's mainly frosting and like a little bit of cake but let's try this actually you know what I'll get some cake in it too why not delicious 10 out of 10 I am so excited about this so like it has a good texture to it so it's like it's moussey it's frosting like and creamy and then the cake is like so moist it is so moist and I hate using that word but we got to use it sometimes and then I really love the sprinkles and the chocolate chips because it has a nice crunch to it and it's just like the perfect like sweet minty flavor and when you mix it with the chocolate it kind of like evens out the mintiness and it's not overwhelmingly minty I do love mint though so if you don't I mean already by looking at the description you'd be like I don't want this at all but if you kind of like mint I think you're gonna love this because these are just like a 10 out of 10 I love this dessert so delicious this is so good so the regular gray stuff is red velvet cake and then cookies and cream frosting and it's divine I can't even tell you how good it is it's just it's so delicious and I love though that we like get a break so we get mint for st. Patrick's Day and I'm just thinking like it would be so fun if every once in a while like maybe like two or three times a year they like switch up the flavor so it's not always red velvet that'd be kind of cool maybe I should like send it out psychically like psychically send it out for whoever's in charge their brain waves to pick up uh, I don't know if it works that way <laughs> but also if you're wondering like if my mouth is completely dyed green um, yes 100% I'm walking through Candy Palace mainly just because I wanted to avoid the crowd for the parade that's outside, but I see that they have the new Easter cupcakes and also other little treats. So they always redecorate the cupcakes for Easter and then here it's like a nice chocolate one with some cute frosting and same with this one right here. This is just vanilla, but they do have Mickey ears, which we love. But then over here, okay, so this is a strawberry shortcake marshmallow pop. So it's only around for the spring. This is so good. I've had it in the past. The exterior tastes like one of those, like you know the popsicles, the good, oh gosh I can't even, good humor, strawberry shortcake bars, yes, it's just like that. And then of course we have a Rice Krispie Treat, this one is for St. Patrick's Day, although we also have one for Easter right over here. And it's kind of hard to tell, but it's a bunny with a cute little coconut ball for its tail. And then we even have this, which is new. It's a marshmallow pop with a bunny butt too, which is so cute. And then this one, I'm particularly intrigued by this. This is a marshmallow pop, but it's chocolate mint. We are going over to California Adventure right now. Yay! But what I was gonna tell you, oh, it's like, it's kind of, it's not raining, but it's 
the lightest drizzle and ooh, the monorail's coming by. Hooray! But I can see the sun, so it's not gonna be sprinkling for very long. But what I was going to say, I was walking out of Disneyland and I saw a guy with a balloon and I was like, wait, that looks like a Winnie the Pooh balloon, but it also looks like a deflated Mickey Mouse balloon. And so I asked him. <laughs> And he said, no, that it was in fact just a deflated Mickey Mouse balloon and it was not a Winnie the Pooh one. Which is amazing, but also sad because I wanted it to be Winnie the Pooh. Anyway, I asked him to take a picture and he very kindly obliged. I don't know why I asked to take a picture. Well, I mean, I wanted to show you, but yeah. Our next stop, Schmoozies. Okay, I can't say it and I always say it, like I think of it in a specific voice and I'm not gonna do it right now. But yes, this is our next stop and I'm very excited because Schmoozies just has the best like shakes and little ice cream specialties. They're all so good. I have my shake from Schmoozies and it looks so cute and I'm really sad to say this, but it's only available for one weekend, okay? It's celebrating the Oscars so usually Disney will come out with like just a couple items and last year I want to say that I ended up getting like a $15 cookie. Yeah, one cookie was $15. I'm pretty sure, but it was celebrating the Oscars and it was gold. Well, gold sprinkles. So it was okay, but let me tell you what this is. So over at Schmoozies, this is the brownie shake. It's a vanilla brownie shake with whipped topping, gold sugar, and a brownie. And yes, thankfully this was not $15. It was like 12. <laughs> but I'm so excited. I mean, my favorite thing, oh, also I came so prepared. Look at this. I have a spoon. I have a spoon because my favorite thing is the whipped cream here. So let's give it a little taste. That's delicious. It has a Cool Whip taste, so it's not like regular whipped cream. It's like whipped topping and it tastes just like Cool Whip and the sprinkles are nice and crunchy. But we came here for the shake, so let's give it a go. Ooh, yum. It tastes kind of malted. That's really delicious. And it took a while for me to actually like get a good sip because, well, it's like pretty thick, even though it is kind of melting and there's condensation all over it, but how cute is this? And yeah, I really like that malted flavor. But let me break off a piece of this brownie. Yum. I mean, I should like dip it in the shake a little bit. <gasps> and the whipped topping, yes. That's really good. It's really fudgy and delicious. I'm very sorry that I'm showing you a shake that's only available this weekend, but as a consolation, Schmoozies always has the best milkshakes. You can never go wrong with a milkshake from there and they always have like nice seasonal ones. So right now they have a Steamboat Willie one that is cookies and cream flavored. And I recommend you get it. It's for the Disney 100 and it's gonna stick around for a little bit, but yum. I love this. Look at my little tuxedo Oscars guy. <laughs> So this is the special menu that Award Wieners has just for the Oscars and something that I think is so cute, it says, and the nominees for best funnel cake fries flavors are, and we have three flavors, so strawberries and cream, pineapple upside down, and cookies and cream. I don't know which one I should get. I wish that maybe they had a sampler where you could get a little bit of each one. That would be a dream for me, but hmm, okay, I have to make a decision. I ran into somebody that I know and his name is Rare and his sister Unique ordered these. These are the strawberry funnel cake fries, so I get to show them to you, but I'm thinking that I should get something a little bit more rare, a little bit more unique, perhaps in honor of them, and I maybe should get the pineapple ones. Okay, it's been about an hour, maybe more, since I last spoke to you, and it is chilly. It's also sprinkling. It's like, it's, it's pretty wet, okay? And my funnel cake fries are also wet. They are very soggy, but I have been eating them. I'll try one for you, even though they're all pretty soggy. Oh no, all the leftover ones are pretty soggy, okay. Here we go. Oh, I should tell you exactly what I got. So these are the pineapple upside down funnel cake fries. They're coated in cinnamon sugar, topped with pineapple compote, toasted coconut shavings, whipped topping, and a cherry. So yeah, this one's pretty soggy, but I'll still taste it, even though I, I mean, I ate like half of them. 
It may be soggy, but it's still so tasty. So the cinnamon sugar is really fabulous. And then the whipped topping is my favorite thing. I mean, we already went over this with the shake. Whipped topping, amazing. And the coconut shavings are really nice. Right now they're soggy, okay? But they were crisp before. They had like a nice little crunch. And the pineapple was the best part. I love the pineapple. It was like super fresh, very fruity. It was like canned pineapple, so it was extra sweet. Very delicious. And I'm sorry that, yes, it's only available this weekend, but you know, we had to celebrate the Grammys by coming here to Disney and eating the food. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here because I do have to run off to my car and I know some of you are probably like, oh, come on, stop complaining about it raining. It's not really raining. Well, I know, but it's still wet, you know? It, it feels kind of chilly and it's, it's wet. I'm a Southern California girl, okay? Like through and through, born and raised, and these sort of things just like, uh, they rock us to our core when precipitation happens. But anyway, all around just a really fun and amazing day. I love that we got to see the new shop over at Toontown and I cannot wait for the new Toontown to finally be revealed and for the food. I cannot wait to try the new Toontown food. And then the food today was also really good. My favorite thing was definitely the mint stuff. I just love the gray stuff in general. And so when they do the mint stuff with all the tasty like green sprinkles and everything, A plus, even though it did stay in my mouth. But I took care of that situation and it wasn't staying for very long. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys had fun coming along with me today. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> okay, see ya.